Hey, I'm Liam Killen, and the OPZ is such a little beast. I know it says instant ambient in the title, but I'll be unpacking a few things to make this as clear as possible for you guys. There's a lot of layers here, each level plunging deeper and deeper into ambient bliss. I've acquired a few portable sequencers over the past couple of years and still the OPZ remains one of my go-tos. And there's a few reasons for that. I think the first being that it's just so easy to access. It fits on your desk pretty much no matter how much space you have. I think that's the number one reason why I use it actually, because I'm just that lazy. Okay, announcement for you guys. I'm hosting my third beat battle. A huge thank you to Excellent Audio for sponsoring. To give you a quick rundown, there will be three winners, each of which will win Excellent Audio plugins. The RC20 and the DS10 are up for grabs, which are hands down my most used plugins right now, especially the RC20. 20. It's goat status. To enter, go to the first link in my bio, download the sample pack, which is free. All of the instructions are clearly listed there. Go check it out. It's a very simple entry. The winner will be announced in a Twitch live stream on March 19th, 2021. So make sure to get your beats in before then. By the way, if you're not interested in entering the beat battle, you could just snag the pack if you want. It's yours to use for free, royalty free. No problemo. Now back to the OPZ, let's get ambient with this thing. The first step is to program a nice, soft, ambient melody. I'm going to set myself to 100 BPM. We could change that later if we want. I'll turn the click on and we're going to head to lead tones. At this point, I'm not even going to worry about my tones. I'm just going to program a melody that has a major seventh in it. I'm feeling that like melancholy major seventh sort of vibe today. I don't know why, but that's the vibe. For those of you who don't know what a major seventh is, I'll keep it simple. We're going to play in the key of C major. So that's all the white keys. This is a C and we'll just go up the scale. That's the B, so that's the seventh. Throw a little curveball in here. I'm gonna make this a five bar pattern. Here we go. Now that we have our actual melody, we can go tone hunting. Within the tone itself, if you hit shift, you have access to a bunch of different parameters here. Let's do some further sculpting. Oh, would you look at that? We're already at step two. Let's add a bass pedal. Essentially a bass pedal means that you're sitting on one bass note while there's different melodic and harmonic stuff happening over top of that. So we'll hit the bass. Once again, we're going to make this a five bar phrase and I'm just going to program a root pedal. So the note C. Let's sculpt it. Plowing right ahead here, we are done with bass. The third step is adding step components. Okay, so what are step components? If you're a beginner with the OPZ, I'm sort of jumping into advanced territory here. So if you get lost, here's some simpler OPZ content to help you out. I've also left a link to all of my OPZ content in the description. So if you take a look at these symbols here, each of them will add a different effect to this melody. You could get pretty precise with this as well. You could choose which notes within the melody are being affected. You could add effects to several notes within the sequence. You could affect the whole sequence all at once. You could add several different effects to different parts of the sequence. Like there's a lot of layers here. It would be pretty overwhelming to look at all of them at once. So let's just take a look at some of my go-tos for ambient music. The first one being this guy here, which will change the velocity of your notes. Here's how I use it. Hit shift, select the notes that you want to affect. So in this case, I'm going to choose all of them. Now I'm going to choose the velocity effect right here. And I'm going to go with zero, which means random. If I was to do the same thing and select nine, all the notes would be super loud. If I was to select all the notes and press one, they'd all be super quiet. But within most of these step components, zero means random. I really enjoy what that does to the melody. It adds a certain dynamic to it and it really brings it closer into that ambient calming, like ASMR sort of realm. 
So let's randomize this even a little bit more. The next step component we're gonna look at is this guy right here, which will randomize the tone of the notes that you select. Hit shift, we're gonna select these two notes. I'm gonna select the random note function and hit three. With this component, if we were to choose nine, the randomized range would be much higher. For this type of music, it sort of catches you off guard though. In fact, here, I'll give you an example. I'm gonna select all of the notes, randomize, go to nine. It's a bit too random for my liking. I think three randomizes it just enough, you know, just to keep it in that ambient ASMR realm. Give in to those ambient tones. Lose yourself in this sketch. The third and last trig we're gonna use is this little sideways arrow here, which means that the other step components that we've added to these notes will only activate when we want them to. In my case, I'm gonna go to those two notes that have both step components, so random note and also velocity. And so I'm gonna put this step component on. So now these two step components only activate every third time, because that's what I'm choosing. By the way, I'm choosing odd phrases and sequences on purpose here. It just breaks up the conventional pattern and leaves us in a less grounded melodic state, which I like for ambient music. For the fourth step, we're gonna add tape effects. Hit track button, go to this guy here. This is the tape effects. So now you're able to make the notes of this sequence skip and repeat. Let's take a look. So one makes it skip in 16th notes, two makes it skip in half notes, dotted half notes, and so on. So essentially it skips higher note values as you go up in the numbers. So just like with our melody, we can make a sequence out of this. I'm gonna make it a four bar sequence. And now we can record tape effects into this sequence. Notice how because this is a four bar phrase and the melody is a five bar phrase, the effects will hit on different notes as the sequence plays along. There's an option to dig even a little bit deeper into this. There's four more parameters here that we could play with within tape effects. No, 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 no. Okay, so that's pitching it. Okay. I actually like the default settings for this. Once again, protecting that ambience. Fifth step, we are going to fill this out with some chords. Head over to chords. I'm gonna make this a seven bar phrase. Once again, not worrying about the tone yet. I'll start by auditioning some tones. You of course have the option of adding step components and effects onto these chord tones as well. In fact, we'll just do a quick run through here. So I'm gonna select all the notes. Random velocity. Also, I'm gonna give them a little bit of randomness. Two, and we'll say every three times once again. Bonus alert, there is a secret sixth step and that is this. This is Hologram Electronics Microcosm, and it's the secret weapon to this video overall, I would say. I'll be combining the OPZ's performance components, so that's this guy here, along with the Microcosm. The ultimate ambient, lush sounds that is the Microcosm. With the microcosm, it really is instant ambience. As always, thank you guys so much for being here and watching. A reminder that I'm hosting my third beat battle. Check out the link in bio for more details on that. I drop new YouTube videos every week, so if you'd like to be notified as to when the next one comes out, hit that notification bell. Like, comment, subscribe. These are the three things that really, really help this channel out, so do that if you'd like to support. It really does help. And my God, today was fun. I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.